one of the things that's lost in the event is the benefit of the lines and the lights and the lanes. We're so plugged in to letting other things tell us how things are going to happen or what we need to do that once that structure is pulled away, once those things go away and you are in the fight, people still look for lines and lanes and ways they need to act. They will still, when there's an active shooter, line up against the wall because that's what they're told to do and basically wait to be executed. They'll stand there and let themselves be taken without putting forth any effort to end that fight or change that dynamic. Part of that becomes that fallacy, that idea that fights have to be fair, that everything has rules, that everything has structure. And where people have a hard time is the transition between this life right here. We've got roads, we've got lights, we've got turn lanes. Everything's marked here. This is painted yellow so we know where we can stand and we can walk. The transition between this structured world and the world of an event where there aren't rules, where there's no time limits, where there's not structure, it's just chaos. And people believe this fallacy. They live behind a facade of when an event occurs, then I can start to work within that event and, and make it work for me. It's not true. It puts you behind the power curve already. It's much like the mindset talk within combat mindset. It's just mindset. Your mindset here standing at Union Station is the same as your mindset when it's on a range. Right now I just don't have any targets, but that doesn't mean they're not going to appear. The more that I'm present in this space and recognize vehicles that are coming and people that are walking on all of these levels, it gives me the ability to be able to manage that quicker. Cheers.